millions of Mexicans, maize is not only a source of food, but also an essential part of their economic livelihood and culture. There are thousands of different varieties of native maize that each adapted to grow in different environments and climates, and whose unique qualities are used in traditional cuisine and cultural ceremonies. For generations, the community of Santiago Yaitepec in Mexico state of Oaxaca has grown their native maize varieties that have developed to thrive in their region. Es como maíz más pesado, maíz, como son maíz original, aquí son maíz nativo de aquí, y por eso ya este, aquí hay pues el maíz que es de antiguo, de los abuelos pues, y por eso no, no me cambio y sigo sembrando esto aquí. However, climate change is putting this important food crop at risk by bringing new crop diseases to areas where they have not been seen before. In the community, a deadly maize disease, tar spot complex, is ravaging yields, threatening food security. Named for the black spots that cover infected plants, it causes leaves to die prematurely, weakening the plant and preventing the cobs from developing fully, cutting yields by more than 50% in severe cases. Scientists at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center work to identify native maize varieties from regions surrounding Santiago Yaitepec. Native maize, which are similar, but have developed resistance to the disease, can be bred with the community's maize to make it stronger. The search for resistance was difficult because little is known about the genetic traits and disease resistance that thousands of different varieties of native maize hold. Maize breeder Dr. Martha Wilcox worked with Simmet's Seeds of Discovery Initiative to study the different varieties for disease resistance, tolerance to heat, and other valuable traits. Her research discovered that the native maize variety Oaxaca 280 has resistance to tar spot complex and could help the farmers of Santiago Yaita. Oaxaca 280 has such strong resistance to tar spot that it is a really good source. So Oaxaca 280 is also a land race and that gives 100% unimproved material uh, from Oaxaca that's crossed with another material in Oaxaca. So it's really a farmer to farmer exchange. Now, Dr. Wilcox is working with local maize breeders and the community to cross the resistant Oaxaca 280 maize with their local varieties so that farmers keep the quality of their maize while gaining resistance to the tar spot complex disease. To me, the preservation of maize has to do with the preservation of rural communities. The participatory breeding in marginalized areas is so important because these areas are both the areas that are of concern to countries outside Mexico where these areas, because of lack of opportunities, are often the areas from which many people migrate out of Mexico to find work in other places. The information collected on native maize varieties in the field for their resistance to diseases, tolerance to heat and drought, and ability to produce good yields is publicly available through the Seeds of Discovery website. Having the genetic and field data from these native maize varieties freely available helps researchers, breeders, and farmers from all over the world identify native maize varieties with useful traits for breeding maize that stands up to climate change and other threats. The smallholder farmers in Santiago Yaitepec are among the first beneficiaries of Seeds of Discovery, working in partnership with international and Mexican scientists.